Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pilates with April Moon. Hope you're all well today. We're just going to wait for a few people and then we're going to get started. If you're here and want to say hi, feel free to pop in the comments down below. All you need today is a mat and some space. And we're going to get started in just a minute's time. Okay, a few more seconds and then we'll get going. Hi, Rosemary, I hope you're okay. Hi, Irene. Hope you're all okay today. It's quite blustery. A bit sunny, but very blustery here today. So I'm glad I'm inside. About to do some exercise <laughs> instead of being out there. So we're going to get started in just a second. If you're brand new to Pilates, welcome. My name is April. I've been teaching for about three years now. And I'm a regular here on a Wednesday afternoon at half past two. Today, you will need a mat. Um, I what, did plan something, but then I decided to change it. And um, I'll explain why in a second. But we're going to um, do Pilates, and then we're going to have a very nice deep stretch. Um, it actually inspired me by someone who I was talking to this morning has a really bad tight neck and they've actually got very bad neck pain and that now they can't move their head as well and it kind of got me thinking that sometimes we do sort of mobility exercises but although we do have a little stretch sometimes it's good to have a really good deep stretch of every muscle from head to toe so that's what we're going to do today so you don't even need to have done Pilates before everyone can stretch it doesn't matter if you're not very flexible this is why we come to gain flexibility so when you're second, when you've got a second roll, like your mat, and um, you're going to feel brand new after this. So you just got back from a four mile walk, amazing. Very quickly before we begin, you can stretch when you're cold. It will help, but to prevent injury, you really need to sort of stretch after you've done a little bit of a warm up. So if you go for like a nice mile walk, or even half a mile, or a quarter of a mile, it just gets the blood flowing, which will help sort of like build um sort of get the muscles going and then we stretch the muscles out when they're a little bit tense so it just helps a little bit but don't worry we're going to have a lovely deep stretch and hopefully no one will pull any muscles and you will feel like new people after three o'clock today so let's get going first things first every single pilates class starts like this so we're going to sit cross-legged and your knees are down and the spine's really, really tall, okay? Now here, we just like to check in with our body, see if we've got anything tight going on anywhere. Do we need to um, sort of work on our posture today? Could it be that we need to um, sit up a little bit taller, drop the shoulders a little bit more, unclench the fingers? It's up to you. Give yourself a second here. So relax those knees down, keep the spine really long, and feel that core strength starting to turn on. So when we sit up tall, our core's working really hard to keep our whole body nice and secure and the back's working really hard. The shoulders are down and relaxed. The shoulders are never up here. Always down and relaxed. And look straight ahead so your chin is parallel to the floor. And you can close your eyes here. I just want you to concentrate on your breathing. So breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And breathe in through the nose. And out through the nose. And we breathe in. And we breathe out. And we breathe in. And we breathe out. Wonderful. And now what I want you to do is push the knees down a little bit more and push your shoulders down. Now, just for a second, if you want to lift up one of your feet, one of your foot, and then put your foot in the crease of the knee, this will help to open up the hips and gain a little bit more flexibility. It is quite an intense stretch, so if you can't quite manage it, don't worry. If you do have really, really tight hips, your hips probably won't let you. So that's why we're going to just hold it here. So push the right knee down, lift up really tall. And 
and then relax. So if you have brought your foot up, well done. Let's go over to the other foot. If you can't quite manage this, like I said, just practice sitting cross-legged. I know one woman, it took her six months to sit cross-legged, but she did it, and now she feels amazing because her hips and all the tension from the legs have gone, more or less. So just keep with it. You're doing really well. Push the left knee down. Drop your shoulders. That's it. Just hold it. And then relax. Wonderful. Now sit up a little bit taller and then just tilt the right ear to the right shoulder. Open up the left side of the neck. And come up to the middle. And then left ear, left shoulder. And then into the middle. And then right ear, right shoulder. And middle. And left ear, left shoulder. And middle. Now just nod the chin, look down in between the thighs. And come back up. Inhale. Exhale, nod. And come back up. Drop your shoulders down just one more time. Let's do it again. Inhale. Exhale, nod. And come back up. Now what we're going to do is bring the hands in front of the chest. So draw the shoulders down. And then we're going to inhale. Nod the chin first. Now exhale. Breathe out as we round through the upper back. Now this should feel lovely. Okay. I'm a Pilates and a yoga teacher. And this always feels lovely every time I do it. So even us teachers, we need it sometimes. So just stretch it out. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. And then come back up. And then we inhale. Exhale, nod. And round through. Brilliant. And then come back up. Fabulous. Okay, now I want you to come to lay down. So feet right at the end of the mat. And now you can either push the hands into the floor or nod the chin and roll down. Stretch your arms over and away. Oh, my lights are getting in my way. Over and away from your body. Point your toes. And now inhale. I want you to go really floppy. So bend the elbows. We inhale. And then exhale. Push the toes. Imagine someone's pulling you. And just feel that openness everywhere. Really concentrate. And then and let it go. Well done. Bring the hands down by your sides. Bring the feet in. We're coming into a glute bridge. A really great way to warm up the lower part of the body, build up those pelvic floor muscles and your glute muscles. So just bring the feet together and then put the heels out, toes forwards, okay? And then relax your shoulders away from the ears. And then place the hands down to the floor. Inhale, tuck the pelvis and exhale, lift up. Just really, really squeeze into your glutes. You can close your eyes if you're here if you want to. You can place your hands underneath the lower back. Just hold this. You should feel really, I find this really relaxing, but that just could be me. Just squeeze. And then release the hand and then lower all the way back down. And then we're going to go again one more time. So we tuck the pelvis lift, squeeze up. Now you can if you want to. Place your hands up and over, stretch the fingertips away, lift up through the glutes. And you can hold it here for three, two, one. Bring the hands down and tuck your pelvis. Now hug the left knee in towards the chest. Keep the right foot on the floor and really hug it in. Hug, hug. Hug and just see if you feel any sort of stress or tightness up the left part of the thigh. And then very gently place it down and come to the other side. So hug the right knee in. And place it down. Okay. Let the left foot stay on the floor. We inhale and exhale. Drop the right knee out to the side. Now, sometimes when we concentrate on just one side of the body, it really helps us to feel what we need. Sometimes we can do what we think we need, 
But what we really need, our body will always tell you if you're feeling tight, if you're getting cramped, if you feel tense, your body always tells you, bring the right knee in, inhale, exhale, drop the left knee down to the side. Now I can get my left knee a lot further to the floor than I can my right, so my left side is definitely a lot looser. Also, when you work on your body one, one side at a time, it also tells you what area you need working on. And then come back up. Fabby dabby. Okay, let's have a little flexible test. So hug your right knee in towards the chest. Now we're going to push through the heel and place the hand underneath the right thigh. Now we are still quite cold unless you've been through a four mile walk. Okay, so don't overdo this. Keep the lower back on the floor. Inhale and then exhale. Lift that leg up in towards the ceiling. So really push. Open up that right heel. Really, really push. And then bend the knee, inhale. And exhale, let's go again. So it doesn't matter if the leg isn't straight, just keep the lower back on the floor and feel your hamstrings open up. And then bend the knee, place it down. Let's go to the other side. Hug the left knee in. Place the hands behind the back of the thigh, inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, bend, exhale, lift up. Keep the lower back down, push up. Wonderful, bend the knee, place it down. Now we're going to start to not stretch, but just mobilize the hip area, okay? So keep the pelvis in neutral. If you haven't done Pilates before, go back to my very first videos back in January where I explain the pelvic ne the neutral pelvis. I was going to say pelvic neutral then. <laughs> Tuck the lower back into the mat, okay? And what I mean by that is imagine your tailbone's going up towards the ceiling. So you now should get no fingers between your lower back and the mat. Now, once you've done this, place your fingers underneath your hips and push down. And then you're going to find space now, just a little bit of space. You don't want a big arch between the lower back and the mat. Okay, so this is your neutral pelvis. This is the hardest part of Pilates, is concentrating on keeping this area very still. Now, when you can, lift up your right knee. Now, the right knee wants to be in line with the right hip, and the right knee wants to be in line with the right ankle. So from here, your core is now working very hard to stabilize you. So even if you've done Pilates for a long time, these exercises are always good to just keep you in check and just train that pelvis to stay where you put it. So from here, I want you to imagine that your lower part of your leg is completely still. Someone's holding your right hip and you're going to keep the left leg still and you're going to just very gently circle around with that right knee. Very small, very small. Very controlled. And we come around. And that's it. Very, very small. You might feel a bit of fire in that front thigh. That's completely normal. Now hold it here when you get back to the start position. And just hold it. Now take the hands and place them underneath the lower back. Have you got any space? Yes or no? If you have got the same amount of space you did right at the start, your pelvis is in neutral. Well done. Place that foot back down on the floor. Wiggle those hips from side to side if you need to. And then the left foot lifts up. Left knee is in line with the left hip. Left knee in line with the left ankle. Again, just check that pelvis is in neutral. From here, we're going to inhale. I've got to take my hair out, it's hurting my head. Inhale, and then exhale, going clockwise. Keep that right leg really still. You'll be surprised how much your right leg wants to move. Keep it still. Just circle it around. <coughs> Excuse me. Just keep circling.
Sí, no. And your last one. And now place the hands underneath. Is there the same amount of gap? Well done. If there is. If there isn't, don't worry. Just pop yourself back in neutral. And then lower that foot down. Now, hopefully, you would have felt that definitely within the hips and the thigh. Your core's also working quite hard as well to stabilise that one leg. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to extend the left leg long. And we're going, you can keep laying down. I'm just moving my trousers, sorry. And so extend the left leg long. And now what we're going to do is hug the right knee in towards the chest. Now, I want you to be really lazy before we start. So there isn't much going on here. Your body isn't really working that hard. Just to have a slight point in the left toes and the right toes. And then what we do is we inhale and exhale. Hug that right knee in as close as you can without going out to the side. Hug it right in towards the chest. Now point through that left toe and the right toe, and you'll feel more of an open in the top of that left thigh. Now what we're going to do is relax and place the hands underneath, behind the thigh, drop that right leg, and then we inhale, and then we exhale, we lift up, push into that right foot. And then we breathe in, we bend the knee. And then breathe out, lift straight back up. Now, as we are stretching more, your, your muscles are warming up here, okay? Remember, you don't have to push yourself too hard. You want to feel a little bit of discomfort, but not pain. Always remember that. And then bend that knee, well done. Now we're going to place this left, this right foot on the left thigh. Stretch the right arm out to your side. Then what we're going to do is inhale and exhale, drop it over and just keep stretching out the right side and stretch out. Now, if you do yoga, you might do this, but I also do this a lot in my Pilates classes because sciatica is a massive problem and it's a very common problem. And I understand completely what the pain can be like. This helps to open up the lower back and the hips running into that thigh, you're stretching out the right side, you're creating a lot of openness and flexibility. Now we can inhale, come up slightly, and exhale, place the left hand on that right knee and just stretch. So yes, a lot of people ask me, whilst we're here, I'll have a quick chin wag. A lot of people ask me what the difference between Pilates and yoga is, and they are quite similar to a degree. We still need to stretch. Yoga is more about uh, the breathing and the flowing of a movement. And depending on what style of yoga you do, Pilates is a bit more intricate and it's a lot more about your posture and sort of mobilizing the body. Now relax and come back down. But the two work very well together. If you've got a bad back or if you have tight muscles, yes, you can mobilize and really work yourself and do Pilates, but sometimes your body just needs a rest. Your muscles just need to relax. So every so often, I will do a nice deep stretch to help you if you have tight muscles. It's also good, even if you don't have tight muscles, it's also very good mentally to have a good stretch, and you will you probably sleep better tonight as well. So let's go to the other side. So hug the left knee in and point the right toes, okay? Now, before we start, just go nice and lazy, inhale, Exhale, bring it in. Bring it in and point both toes very gently. And now place the hands behind that left thigh. And again, just relax. Now inhale. Push into that foot and lift up. Now drop your shoulders. Now this might be more of a challenge on the other side. If it is, it's fine. Don't worry, okay? Just don't push to any discomfort or pain, just to make sure you can feel it. It's fine. Now keep pushing away. Now you can point with the right toes as well, that will help. And then inhale, relax. Exhale, we lift up. And relax. Now place the sole of that left foot onto the right thigh. Place that, I can't stretch out because I've got a small space, but I'm going to cactus my arm, okay? 
and we inhale and then exhale rock over onto the other side so this feels instantly nice for me um, because I feel quite tight let it open up the side the knee going right into the hip open it all out keep pushing to that right foot just hold it here and relax and breathe sometimes we don't always allow ourselves to give ourselves time throughout the day but we need it not just for our body but for our minds too and come back in well done now what i'd like you to do is hug your knees in you can cross your ankle over and place your hands on top of the shin and then what we do is we inhale and nod and then exhale squeeze into a tiny little ball just really squeeze this can help to sort of um relax organs but just inhale and then exhale gently lower down <sighs> now this time un and un unankle your feet or uncross your feet and inhale bring the knees right in and then exhale straighten up the arms and push them away from you and then we inhale come in exhale <sighs> And then inhale in. And exhale. And then last time, inhale, come in. And exhale. Well done. And now from here, what I'd like you to do is walk over onto your right side and very gently lift yourself up into a seated position. Okay, now what we're going to do in when you're ready is extend your left leg out long and just bend that right foot in towards the inner thigh okay bring that right knee down now extend that left foot now automatically some of you may be feeling that you've got you can't this is very uncomfortable for you and i totally understand if you've got tight hips or tight lower back or your hips are maybe wonky you might feel this is not the best, but let's try and stick with me. So first things first, to get yourself in that comfy position whilst you can, is place the hand on either side of the hips and tuck the pelvis under. Now instantly you will feel your spine lengthen and it'll be a lot, a little bit harder to sink forward. Now, bring that foot in and keep this leg nice and long, okay? I want you to imagine someone has glued your right knee to the floor. So... You're going to open up the hips a lot more. Now, just place the hands onto the hips and then bring them forward. This is just so you're not like this, okay? Now, place the hands on top of that left thigh. And we're going to inhale. Exhale, nod the chin and hands come all the way down and stretch it forward. Now, just hold it here. Let the head drop. Keep pushing away through that left foot. Drop the right knee down. Just inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Hands come all the way back up. Wonderful. Now take the right leg out. Okay, now hands either side, and then we want to tuck that pelvis under so we automatically open everything up push through the heels lift that spine nice and tall hands on top of the thighs inhale nod the chin exhale hands come all the way over stretch everything out it should feel nice let the hands go wherever they can down the body And then hands come all the way up. And let's go to the other side. So left foot in, right leg out. Lift up tall, hands either side, tuck the pelvis under. And then extend that right leg just to make sure the right ankle is in line with the right knee, in line with the right hip. Twist the hips forward, hands on top of that thigh, inhale, off chin. Exhale, round forward and open up the back of that right leg keep pushing the left knee down away from you
for three, two, one, and come back up. Now we're going to sit up nice and fancy. Only if you can, if not, make me in a child's pose in a different way. But bend knees, um, ankles are crossed, and then walk, walk forward onto the knees, walk the hands back. And then we're going to sink the heels down and then stretch the arms forward and come into our child pose. So really stretch everything forward, open up the middle of the back. Wonderful. And now come on to all fours. We'll finish off with some cat cows, okay? So wrist is in line with the shoulder and the knees in line with the hips. And then just push the palms into the mat. This will allow space between your shoulders and your ears. Stick your glutes out, okay? And then look forward. Inhale, nod the chin and push up. And then uncurl, look forward. My hair's all in my way. Inhale, nod. Really push, really push into the palms. And look forward. And again, nod. And look forward. Last time. Inhale, nod. Exhale, push. Now we're going to hold it here for about 10 seconds. So bring the knees in and really round over for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Now sink down low enough so you can place your elbows to the floor and your hands meet in like a prayer position. Then we inhale. And then exhale, sink down and put the arms over the head and open up the backs of the arms. So child's pose with a twist. We place the elbows down, hands come over and stretch everything out. Hands come down. Lengthen the arms, restack your spine, and breathe in and out. Let's finish up sitting up cross legged. So, we're going to have a minute just sitting cross legged. And because the more you do it, I promise you, the easier it becomes. So, even if it's not really a goal of yours, you're not really bothered about sitting cross legged, but what will happen is the more you practice, is your hips. We'll be forever thankful. So sit up really tall, hands either side, and just sit really on the sitting bones. Expend, expend, <laughs> extend the spine, push the shoulders away, bring the ankles in a little bit closer if you can, or if you need to walk them out, that's that's good for you. Just breathe in and out. Just really concentrate, just lift up a little bit taller just in case you've slumped over slightly. It happens. Inhale, lift up a little bit taller. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And then we're going to tip the right ear to the right shoulder. Just loosen off that neck. And into the middle. And over to the left. Come into the middle. And nod the chin, look down towards your ankles. And lift up. Then we're going to inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, bring them down by the side. This time up in the arms. Exhale, down in front. And up. And out. 
Last time, lift. And down. And well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's a little bit different to a usual Pilates class, but you should hopefully feel a lot a lot calm within yourself, especially as you're concentrating more on the breathing. And hopefully that you'll feel your muscles will have really needed that and you'll probably feel a lot better. And like I said, you'll probably sleep a lot better too. I hope you all enjoyed it. I shall see you next week um, at half past two. Um, oh, I'm so pleased that you like that. Thank you very much, Anita. Hi, Joe. Hi, Nikki. Um, I hope you all enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below if you did. I also got a Facebook page where I also put little tips and tricks on. So um, if you, I will link that down below as well. If you've got any questions at any point, please always ask me. Um, I will always do my best to help you and uh, help your body as well. Let's see. Feeling stretched and relaxed. Good. Sometimes it is just what we need. Like I said, sometimes we know what we uh, think we need, but actually our bodies need something different. So all, always, always good to have a stretch out. Even if it's just five minutes a day, you'll definitely feel a difference. A thousand percent. It will help you with more everyday things as well. Um, you know, sort of just not feeling as tense as well. It can be really quite relaxing. Thank you all for your lovely comments. If you would like me to work on another specific area of the body, let me know. And I will always do my best to try and incorporate where I can. I've also got a YouTube um, page as well with Pilates and yoga exercises on there. And uh, if there's no nothing else, then I shall see you all next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Hopefully it'll be lovely and sunny. Enjoy your bank holiday. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.